Every Tuesday, Jason tackles a traffic issue driving you crazy. And Jason, this week, it's not only a tongue twister in that introduction, a viewer is also upset about signs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, frustrated about number signs like these. It can be a big jumble of, well, what are we talking about here? It's Andy from Arvada who writes, what's driving you crazy? Why does CDOT inconsistently sign concurrent routes? For example, US-6 and US-85 are concurrent with portions of I-76, I-70, and I-25. But signs seem to appear than disappear. In my opinion, it's far more confusing to have these routes appear and reappear than uh, simply label them with both. Well, concurrent highway routes are roadways that share two or more separate route numbers. When highway identification first started, it wasn't a problem. Each road had their own number. But when the interstate system absorbed existing highways, it became more common to see concurrent signs. And over time, as the interta interstate highway network became the dominant network, the usefulness of these concurrent route information did decline. CDOT tells me putting up signage for every concurrent route on every roadway would just not improve traveler guidance sufficiently enough to offset the downside of cost and sign clutter. CDOT tells me their practice in Colorado is to sign the significant routes first. A good example is Highway 87 that runs all the way through Colorado, but it really is basically I-25. CDOT says Highway 87 is no longer signed due to extremely low demand wanting people wanting to know that it's Highway 87 between New Mexico and Wyoming. And so they save money on not putting up those signs. You can read more about this issue as well as other issues on my Driving You Crazy site. You can just go to the denverchannel.com, go to Denver 7 Traffic, and then Driving You Crazy.